Hey guys, so I'm sorry that I'm filming in this kind of awkward position, but I typically like to film in my diva space, but my daughter is playing in her room, which is right next to my diva space. And I don't want you guys to really hear her in the background, but I really wanted to make this video really quickly. So as I've talked to you guys about uh, recently, last year, I really was sort of at a crossroads with YouTube, but it was kind of bigger than that. I think what I was experiencing was just frustration with, um, you know, not doing certain things that I really had planned to do or to be exactly where I wanted to be in my career uh, at that point. And I think that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to sort of like possibly, possibly quit or, you know, consider doing something else. Honestly, I felt like I had put in my time. I had been grinding for years and... I don't know, I felt like that, it was my time. Like I had put in the work and people always tell you, you work hard to get what you want. Well, I had worked hard and I wanted what I wanted. <laughs> and so but I feel like lately God has been showing me the grind. He has been showing me so many people who are very successful and really sort of reminding me about how long it really takes. There are very few overnight successes in this world. There, everybody can't be Cardi B. And even with Cardi B, I'm sure if she tells her story, there's like a long history of her grinding and her trying to get from where she used to be to where she is now. Uh, I just saw this post recently by Jenna Coy. I think that's how you say her name. Uh, she's a singer and uh, she was on Instagram and she posted a picture of herself um, being featured in Word Up magazine. How old is Word Up? And she said she was 14 years old in the picture and that she's going to be 30 years old this year. And she was like, respect the grind. Then I go on Instagram, same, still on Instagram. I look at Instasnap and I see Issa Rae, somebody who I used to watch years ago uh, on Awkward Black Girl here on YouTube. Like there's so many people, the Tyler Perry's, the people who've been working, just grinding for years and years and years. And I don't know, I felt like at the, at the time last year, I felt like I had done the grinding. But when I think about like how much more grinding that these people are doing than, than me, I feel like, you know, it was just too soon. It was just too soon. So I know hopefully you're still rocking with me, but the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I don't want you to give up on your dreams because it your timetable hasn't been met. I don't want you to um, sort of want to ransom off your purpose to God like, hey, it's time. If you still want me to keep with this purpose, you're going to have to, I'm going to need this and this to happen because it really doesn't work that way. Um... Most of the people that you see that are huge successes, they've been at their craft for sometimes 7, 10, 15, 20 years. The Oprah Winfrey's, the Beyonce's, the, all these people who've gotten all this success, Jay-Z, Diddy, all of them. It's been years of grinding. But I think especially in the age that we're in right now with social media and all these people looking like they're successful, people who start an online boutique this year and the next year they're on the coast of Saint-Tropez. I mean, it just makes people think that, oh, yeah, I could get it in a year. If I grind for 365 days, then surely on day 366, I should be where you're. It's not like that. I think people, those people, although they have achieved a level of success, it's still... It still takes time. Nobody wants to show you that hard work, that those sleepless nights and, you know, the having fights with your um, significant other sometimes because you're you're doing too much and you don't want to rest. You don't want to sleep. The weight you've lost, the, all of the things, all of the negatives for following your purpose. Everybody just wants to show you like the fancy bag, the fancy shoes and the nice vacations. Purpose is. It's all encompassing. And it takes so much to continue at it. But the thing about it is when you are truly doing what you're passionate about, even when you haven't achieved certain levels of success, you stick with it. So even though I'm not exactly where I want to be in my career, I'm still at it. Because even if I didn't want to do it, I feel like I still would. Like the Bible says, uh, many are the plans in a man's heart. It's the Lord's purpose that will prevail. No matter what I think I'm going to do, God will find a way for me to get back to this purpose. So whether I stop making YouTube videos or not, it's going to be every person who I run into in a waiting room. Or it's going to be every family member, every friend. There's going to be some way for me to encourage people because that's what's within me. So I might as well <laughs> embrace it and not fight it.
That's some of the best advice I got from my mom. Stop running from your purpose. Just embrace it. You never know where it could lead you. And I think, you know, that's kind of why I'm sticking with it. But I hope this video, as quick and as impromptu as it is, I hope you kind of get the point. A lot of these people who you admire, and it may seem like their success is instant, it's truly not. It's years and years of grinding. If you've been putting in the years and you've been working on getting 10,000 hours, don't get weary in your well-doing. Continue at it. Keep pushing forward. You could be one month away, one year away from a totally different life, from a completely different experience. But you'll never get to that point. And I see how happy these people are on Instagram. and Inst They have every right to be because they worked so hard to get to where they are. Years and years. Like I see Michael B. Jordan. He's in the Black Panther movie. How many of y'all remember him like I do from The Wire? How many movies did Viola Davis have to do before she finally was able to be Annalise and finally able to get movies like, you know, The Help and Fences? How, it's so much grinding that goes on behind the scenes, but everybody sees the glory but doesn't know the story. If you're not willing to go all at it, then that means you lack the passion. It may take you 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. I just want you guys to be realistic about how long it really takes. That's just not for you, but also for me. Like me thinking, hey, I've been at this for about five, six, seven years. You know, I think it's about time. It really wasn't. I hadn't, I have not, even though I'm on the road to it, I hadn't paid my dues. But when it's my season, when it's my time, nobody will be able to stop it. Nobody will be able to curse what God has blessed. I hope this encourages all of you out there who have a dream and you feel like you're three or four years in started your channel four years ago and it's not jumping off you don't have a hundred thousand subscribers yet and you're getting to, you gotta stick with it continue grinding if you're not passionate about it don't do it don't waste your time but true passion will have you stop looking at your watch and that's where i'm finally getting to the point where i'm like god however long it takes because i know that when i get to where you want me to be it'll be worth the wait god never puts you on a journey that takes you someplace that's not worth the wait. Anything I've ever waited for, whether it's my husband, whether it's for certain uh, career opportunities, whether it's the home I live in, in every area of my life, if God allowed me to wait, had me wait for it, it's always been worth the wait. And it will be worth the wait for you. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Hope that you guys enjoyed this quick impromptu video. But I really wanted to talk to you guys. And like I said, I didn't want to let my daughter make a noise upstairs be a distraction because I felt like I really wanted to say this for somebody out there. I love you guys. And I'll see you all in the next video. Till next time. Later, Davis and dudes. Deuces, honey.